All right, we're recording. Uh, how do we do this? One second, I'm gonna figure this out real quick. All right, can you guys see this? Yes. Yep. And you, do you see this in full screen? Yeah, you good. All right, I'm just going to hop into it then. Um, so I chose to do my next program scavenger hunt on the uh, Three Rivers Adaptive Sports Program. Uh, there's a lot of information on this um, and a lot of like really neat videos. So if any of you are interested, I can send you this uh, access to this document afterwards. And there's like a few videos that you can click through and kind of check out what they're all about. But just kind of hopping into it now. So a little bit about the uh, Three Rivers Adaptive Sports Program. Since their start in 1989, they've supported the belief that sports, recreation, and physical fitness are an integral and important part of everyone's life. So this is their vision statement. Um, serving the greater Pittsburgh area, so they're essentially focused in kind of southwestern Pennsylvania. Our goal is to be more inclusive and a better part of the rehabilitation process and community integration. We will strengthen our bonds with uh, local health organizations so we can serve as a resource while also benefiting from their experience and expertise. We will expand our programs to include opportunities for exercise, sports training, health information, and wellness techniques. This will enable us to serve as a launch pad for individuals who continue to enjoy recreation and sports with family, uh, friends and family. Um, and again, here's just another video link. Um, so celebrating 25 years, it's pretty up to date video. It's kind of cool if any of you want to check it out. So the organization's mission is to promote quality of life, education, and to provide quality year-round sports and recreation opportunities for people with disabilities, their families, and friends. These are five of their core values. Um, you can read through them if you want. I don't want to read the entire slide every time I flip one, but basically um, the number five is kind of their motto, and it kind of sums up everything that they're about, which is, if I can do this, I can do anything. So these are just some of the activities that they offer. Again, a lot of text on this slide, but they have a bowling program. Um, and then primarily they have a water sports clinic where you can rent, walk, you can do water skiing, wakeboarding, canoeing and kayaking, and a lot more. Um, they also do paddling on the local rivers around the area. And then cycling is another big activity that they do as well. And they actually do their cycling program in tandem with the Pittsburgh Steel Wheelers, which is another um, adaptive sports organization. So the cost of participation, from what I could find on their website, is um, the individual membership fee is twenty dollars a month. For a family, it's thirty dollars a month. And then, from what it looked like, and this is this is kind of me like sifting through some information and trying to figure out what's what, but it looked like activities range from between 15 to $25 for everything. I don't know if that's exactly exactly accurate. I'd have to actually um, contact them, which is very easy to do through their website, but I'd have to find out more about that. Um, but it did, again, it did look like all the activities had a cost association. Um, so the pros of this organization, they're well established. They've been around since 1989. Um, there's a large variety of activities that gets members outdoors. So if members are typically stuck inside, um, this helps get them out of the house. You know, um, It's a great resource to connect with other disabled peoples in the greater Pittsburgh area. And the community as a whole is um, has a large volunteer presence and it's super easy to volunteer through their website and I'll get more into that in, on the next slide. Um, and then they have an excellent social media outreach and organization website, which is updated from what it looks like very regularly with new information, which is good. Um, but the cons, I think, would be a cost of membership. Like it seems pretty steep to have a membership fee and then anything you want to do with that organization, you have to pay an additional fee for. So I don't really like that. Uh, it didn't look like there was much outreach outside of Pittsburgh. Um, they could 
try to link up with more organizations on the national level, but I didn't see anything about that. And then most of their pro programs are calendar specific. So you can't just show up somewhere and do these things. There's like dates that you have to go if you want to participate. So it has to line up with your schedule. And then obviously there's COVID-19 restrictions currently that apply to some of these activities. So more about the volunteering aspect of it. Um, it's very in-depth. Uh, my last program that I did wasn't as in-depth, but this one, uh, you have to go through a uh, state police criminal record check and Pennsylvania child abuse fishery clearance. So those are two documents that you have to get um, filled out and then you have to send them in to a, a third party organization and then that organization sends it to the Three Rivers Adapted Sports Organization. And then uh, if you don't reside in PA for the last 10 years and you have to do an FBI criminal background check before you can sign up. And then when you do sign up, there's a sports protection training course component, which is there's two options, but you have to take a class in order to volunteer. Here's just a couple more videos. Again, there's they have so many videos about like what they do, different things that they do. I think the one on the left is at this, um, it's, the, it's a place called Seven Springs, which is a ski resort. It's very nice. I've been there many times myself. And then the one on the right, I think is, it's at a, I forget the name of the state park, but super beautiful place. Highly recommend watching these videos, but that's kind of all I have on, um, the Three Rivers Adaptive Sports Organization, and it's going to play the videos right now. So we're just going to pause those. And uh, yeah, that's my whole presentation. Do you guys have any questions? Good. All right. How do I stop screen share? Does anyone know how to stop the screen share? Stop share. Is it just me now? Right. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Uh, I'll go next if no one minds. All right. Let me try sh screen share. Wait, what group are we in again? We're group three, I think. Three. Okay. Thank you. All right. You guys see my stuff? Uh, yep. Yeah. All right. Oh, shoot, wait, hold up. All right, so I did my research on Summer Games. It's a program, uh, part of the Special Olympics Hawaii. So this started in 1968. And the Summer Games is just two days of competition in one year. And in this year, they had it at uh, UH. So that was cool. Um, so about summer games, it's about with, wait, sorry, I'm going to hold, move this thing. Uh, people with intellectual disabilities can, with proper instruction and encouragement, learn, enjoy from participation in individual team sports, adapted as necessary to meet the needs of those with special and mental physical limitations, and it's year-round sports training and athletic competition in a variety of Olympic type sports where children and adults with intellectual disabilities and athletes develop physical fitness, demonstrate courage, experience joy, and participate in a sharing of gifts, skills, friendship with their families, other special Olympic athletes and the community. There you go. All right, population served. So, any person eight years of age or older, but training allowed for kids that are six to seven years old, but they're unable to compete yet until they're eight years old. Um, sports, so this year they had track, track and field, swimming and powerlifting, and every year it varies depending on what they choose. So the pros, uh, there's a huge support group with notable sponsors such as Walmart, First Hawaiian Bank and Hawaii News, Hawaii News Now and Par Hawaii. Uh, volunteers and positions are available on the website and there are no fees for participation or spectating. And the Summer Games gives an opportunity not 
for athletes, but for coaches as well. And some of the cons I found were that injuries may occur or could possibly, exp or they could possibly expand the length of competition because it's only two days annually. And in conclusion, Summer Games is a great way for people across the island with disabilities to participate and showcase their talents and hard work. Uh, it's a great way to, for the community uh, to get involved and participants benefit physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. All right, that's it. Let me know if you guys need to look at my pros and cons again. Um, yeah, need... Hey, real quick. Um, yeah. Unrelated to your presentation, just to this um, assignment we have to do. Freddie, what did you say about the feedback? We have to do what exactly? So um, on two of any of our presentations, you have to comment on our presentations and she was like she preferred it to be on the pros and cons can you go back to the pros and cons <laughs> yeah i got you thanks do we just want to take some time to like knock these out before moving on to the next one all right if anyone needs me to go back to mine just let me know and i'll uh, put mine back up what are we commenting on though we're just commenting it sounds just on just like the pros and cons of the organization and what we think about it, I guess. Like yeah. on the form, are we writing it on the form or? Yeah, we write it in the optional box at the very bottom. I already submitted my. Yeah. You, so yeah, you can, you can do any two. Yeah, yeah two can. presentations. Okay, so my... next ones, I guess. Right. Yeah, just yeah. let, let us know at the end and we'll like pause so that you can fill it out. You guys good? Uh, hold up one sec. I, I'm still filling this. Yeah. Oh, back to the pros. Please. Got you. All right, pros. What's the uh, name of the organization called again? Uh, Special Olympics Hawaii. Or like this program program is called Summer Games, but it's part of the Special Olympics Hawaii. So Summer Games, yeah. Can you go to the uh, cons real quick, please? I'm good. I don't know if you guys are still working on yours. But... All right. I'm going to stop sharing. I can go next. Okay, let me share my screen. Can you guys see my screen? Okay. So, hello everyone. My name is Mai and um, for my program, I choose I Can Shy and at the bottom to link to this program. So what is I Can Shy? So I Can Shy is a nonprofit organization that teach people with disability how to ride a bike, swim, or dance independently. So this program located across North America in 35 states and Canada. So the last time I checked um, this map location, they update in June 22nd. So what is their mission? So um, they want to provide a quality learning opportunity in creational activity. Um, they also making sure that they can maximize individual potential because they believe that everyone is equal. Um, people with disability, they also deserve to um, learn like uh, people without disability. They also try to leave 
um, each individual equally to create um, a supported environment. Um, they also provide a really excellent service and opportunity for um, people that want to volunteer. Um, so what kind of activity are provided at I Can Shy? So there's three activity. Um, the first one is I Can Bike. So this program teach people to learn how to drive a conventional two-wheel bicycle independently. Um, it is the five-day program and only 75 minutes a day. So when I check out um, this program, uh, almost 80% of the participants, they can um, drive the bicycle in the first five days. But for some people, um, they need a little bit longer to learn. So after the program, they can learn it at home with their parent or someone that can watch them. Um, the next program is um, I Can Swim. So I Can Swim help um, give the self-confidence and the foundation of selfly enjoying an aquatic environment. So it helps children to be more comfortable being in the water. And this is also the five, uh, only five days program. Um, the last one is I Can Dance. So this program um, offer dance move combined in a choreography um, protein that can um, perform on stage. Um, this program used a specialized instructional program that has trained staff and volunteer to enable individual with disability to learn a formal dance routine. Um, so if you if you check this um, this program out, it is only um, for after school program and uh, for summer scam uh, summer camps. Um, some pros and cons. So this program is free for everyone. But if you want to help other people, you can also donate on their website. Um, this website is really easy to navigate and access. So when you log on the website, they will guide you where you can sign up for the program or where you can um, sign up to volunteer. And there's a lot of um, events that you can choose from. And um, this program located across North America. So almost everyone can um, join this program. Um, and one thing I find is really interesting that parents, they can share the experience with um, I Can Shy. Um, and they also publish a lot of information about their employees. And the cons of this program is that um, it's only access in 35 states. So people from out of state, um, they cannot join or they have to drive really far to go into this, um, join, to, to join this program. Um, when I check this out, um, besides riding a bike, swimming and dancing, they don't have any other activities. And when I try to email um, and contact them, they usually take at least a day to get back to you. Um, so overall, I think this project is really great because it's a nonprofit program. So everyone with disability, um, they can afford if they're interested in learning something new, especially with riding a bike or swimming or dancing. And besides that, I can say also um, provide a lot of volunteer opportunity for everyone who is seeking to help people. Um, yes, that's all I have. Thank you. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Good job. Does, it, uh, does anyone need to fill out the... Uh, um, oh yeah, Brad, can you real quick? Yeah, just let us know when you're... It's two, it's two, right? Two comments. Uh, it's, yeah, it's two uh, feedback sheets with comments on them. Yeah. So after this one, theoretically, everybody should be done with that. Just one comment or like two? Maybe how, however many you want, I think. Just something about the presentation. Okay, thank you. Everyone's good. I think we can get the next one queued up. Okay, I can stop share my screen now. And this is going to be the last one, right? Or is this is is it two more? I don't remember. Oh, the second to the last. Second to last. Oh, okay. uh, I can go.
Is it sharing? Okay. So the program I chose was the Commit to Inclusion Act, also known as the ICDI. So it is an advocate partnership program that works on multiple levels to improve accessibility for anyone and everyone that wishes to participate in any physical activity, sports, or recreational opportunities. And um, they wish to engage in, educate others, and empower everyone across the United States toward adopting a healthy lifestyle through both regular physical activity and good nutrition. So the mission of this program is to increase the number of opportunities for children and adults with disabilities to lead and live a healthy lifestyle. And um, in order to bring the goal into fruition, the PCSFN, the call on stakeholders in school systems such as public schools, colleges, universities, or just communities to become an advocate for the program, which is what essentially just funds the program. And by becoming an advocate, you continue the work of creating and promoting programs for children and disabilities in schools. So the population that's, that is served is mainly students, kindergarten through 12th grade, potentially even colleges. And however, um, if we're going by their numbers of advocates or members, it is not made public. However, some of the big name members are Zumba, YMCA, Shape of America, and the Special Olympics, just to name a few. And Volunteering opportunities are not exp explicitly done through the program per se, but they are done through their members and advocates. And um, I tried sifting through their website and digging through. I could not find any um, enrollment fees or anything about becoming unless I really did wanna drop my own program or my own organization and take a further step into it, which I couldn't do. So lastly, I just wanna go over the pros and cons. Um, I, I couldn't find that many cons of the program, but if there were to be, it would be their lack of numbers on their website, if that makes sense. There was no, as I mentioned before, there was no exact number of people that was made public or the direct fee to become an advocate. But one of the biggest pros of it is their vision. I believe that their vision is really inspiring, inclusive, and just great overall. And another one is that is their inclusion of big names, such as Zumba, YMCA, Special Olympics, as I previously mentioned. It adds a great, a big form of like legitimacy to the program as well as it invites other big companies to become a part of it. So I just wanna end my presentation on this quote made by the president, which is inclusion is not a strategy to help people into the systems and structures which exist in our societies. It's about transforming those systems and structures to make it better for everyone. Inclusion is about creating a better world for everyone. Thank you. And we should just be able to hop in at the last one. All right, is it recording?
All right, my program is called Special Strides. Um, yeah. Okay, the mission statement. So Special Strides is a nonprofit organization devoted to improving the lives of individuals with special needs uh, with a unique combination of therapy horses and the natural environment. Individuals achieve goals appropriate to therapy, recreation, and education. Special Strides provides all individuals with an opportunity to improve their lives one stride at a time, regardless of financial status. Okay, so they're located in Monroe Township, New Jersey. Uh, they ha currently have about 130 to 150 clients. Um, they all have special needs. Okay, activities. So one of the great things about uh, Special Strides is that they have multiple forms of therapy. So they have physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, adaptive horseback riding, and equine facilitated learning. Um, so they have multiple therapists there. Uh, and they also have interns from colleges and numerous volunteers. Okay, so the costs. Um, so it depends, the cost will depend on the form of therapy you are utilizing. Um, so an adaptive writing lesson is about $75. Uh, equine facilitated learning session is about $60. Um, for the physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy, it's about $150. Um, so, okay, pros. So one of the pros is that they have offered scholarships in the past to participate in these programs. Um, another pro is that they have a variety of services. You know, they got the different forms of therapy. They got the horseback riding, the equine facilitated learning sessions. Um, you know, the pros is that they accept donations on the website, which means you can support their program and their cause um, from anywhere around the world. Another pro is that they hold events um, to, to raise money for this program. Uh, another pro is that becoming a volunteer is pretty simple. It's, the form is on the website. And it looks like you just have to sign up. Another pro, pro is that they seem to be active on social media. They post almost daily um, their website looks to be updated frequently. Another pro is that their staff is highly qualified. So they have, you know, physical therapists, occupational therapists. So obviously you need a degree to have those positions. Cons, so it can get expensive. Uh, we know that there's a lot of costs involved with living with disability. So some families may not be able to afford these programs. Because if you're utilizing all the different uh, therapies they offer, it could get pretty expensive. Another con is that their website looks a little bit outdated, but that's just being like nitpicky. It's it's fine. It it's has everything. It just kind of looks a little old. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, in conclusion, this is a great program. Uh, that has multiple forms of therapy and it's great. All right, thank you. Let me go back to the comments. Oh, okay. all right. I think uh, I'm going to stop recording here.